how we are with each other. Polite. Integrity and kindness. Positive working environment. Respect and dignity. And we all feel valued. Did you know that when we experience mild to moderate rudeness, our cognitive function, or our brain function, falls by about 61%. If all you do is witness it, the brain function still falls by 20%. And you're 50% less likely to help someone after witnessing rudeness. Civility Saves Lives is a national campaign. In its simplest form, it's about raising awareness of how we are with each other at work and the implications of that on how well we perform in our job roles and ultimately the effect that has on patient care and patient safety. I was asked last year to speak at a conference that the Trust was running about Civility Saves Lives in the workplace and I hadn't really heard of it and the more I researched what I wanted to talk about and it was just meant to be a, a short story about what civility means in A&E and how it impacts how we work. Um, but the more I found out, the more I thought this is probably the most important thing in patient safety that I've ever come across in my career. In the last 12 months, 90% of us have experienced someone being uncivil to us. The majority of us have experienced someone being uncivil to us more than five times in the past 12 months. In the last 12 months, 84% of us have witnessed someone being uncivil to someone else. The NHS is a highly pressurised environment. That's never going to change. With high pressure comes uh, interpersonal relationships that can be difficult. You know, that's just normal life. And when those relationships are difficult, uh, people suffer. They, they don't produce their best work. Civility to me means everyone working together for the good of our patients and staff wellbeing. Um, it's about encouraging each other, motivating each other and just allowing everyone to voice their opinions, um, thoughts, feelings and just respond to that with integrity and kindness. Civility to me is just being generally a nice person, not being rude and being polite. I think it's important because we all have to work together within the NHS to you know, deliver a service and no matter who you are and I think we're all a cog in that machine and if we're rude or unpolite to people that can really affect people at work and then that can really affect patients in the long run. It can be anything, it could be anything from an email to physical approach to the way you actually body language, the way you hold yourself, whether your facial expressions, the words you use, the intonation and the pitch of your voice. I think it's really important that we we'll all remember that we are just humans at the end of the day. Yes, we've got our uniform on, we'll come, we do our job and we do it very well. But I think we need to remember that we are individual. I'm somebody's daughter, I'm someone's mother, I'm a friend, I'm an auntie. And I think we've got to bring that home a little bit. It can lead to reluctance between open discussions between professionals. You can be hesitant and um, feeling very self-conscious about approaching them again if you come across a problem. I think civility is really important for all of us. Um, it impacts on how we feel as people and it impacts on the patient and family and carers. So it is really important that we, that we all feel motivated and we all feel valued. I remember when I was a trainee, um, I made a mistake in not contacting someone uh, when I should have done in the middle of the night. I got the hairdryer treatment the next morning um, and that ended up with me essentially walking out of the hospital in floods of tears and not being able to work for the next 72 hours. Um, that impacted on me, impacted on the person who was, had to cover for me and probably impacted on the six people who sat outside the office while I was getting the hairdryer treatment. A good example is in the recess room. Um, we may have a, a very sick patient, we'll have lots of members of nursing and medical staff in that room and people start to get stressed because they want to do the best for the patient, things might be going wrong, that's the nature of what we do. But the minute the person who is seen to be in charge loses their cool or they snap because they're stressed, because 
they're worried about the patient, the tone in the room completely changes. Um, I've seen examples of the wrong drug being given, the wrong dose of drug being given, and that can come back to that, that, that tense atmosphere in that room. Over the last few months we've had significant pressure on all our hospitals and the wider system and quite often we don't understand each other's pressures and are often not very civil to each other and don't understand the impact that that can have and ultimately this can impact on patients and, and how they feel. So it's important that we reflect on that and, and how civility has affected us. Um, and how ultimately that can impact on the patient. In a happy workplace, you get the best out of people. Um, patients pick up on that and get a, a positive experience and it just helps everyone work together for the good of the patients. It makes day-to-day -day life much better. I think if we're all nice to each other or kinder to each other, people are more than more likely to kind of have a better day and actually be able to do their job better and be more productive. I think the most important thing is to remember that you want to treat people how, how you would be treated and civility is part of that and the consequences of people being uncivil in the environment we work in is that the patients will suffer.